What up, though? It's your boy, Easy. I'm here to give you your week one way too early waiver wire ads. Easy. Speak easy, baby. It's 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 easy, baby. Some of these names are way too early, but I just want to get them out. Uh, currently, the Monday Night Football game has not started, but I wanted to make some content and get it out for you guys. Maybe there's some extra names I might add to this. I had to get a video out, though, for you guys. Before we start, if you guys wouldn't mind just pressing that little like button. Could we, you know what I'm saying? We gave you some names that worked, that popped up a little bit. Waiver wires from week one. Look, there's certain players you find the waiver wire, and you really just don't know shit about. And you're just a desperate. So you pick them up, start them, and then they go off. So there's that. You with them. You know what I'm saying? Like for a minute, for like, like you, like, like you, like, like you with that guy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bruh. For me, that man was Tim Patrick. Last year, I saw him play against the Jets. And I don't know what he did in particular, like the stats or whatever, but I was like, yo, didn't they draft Jerry Judy? Like, who, who, who's this Tim Patrick guy? Ended up leading the team last year with an offense that had Jerry Judy on it. Now, fast forward to 2021, and he's still doing the damn thing with Jerry Judy on the same field as him. Yesterday, Tim Patrick, 4-4, four, four, four targets, four catches, 39 yards, and a touchdown. Now, that's what's sharing the field with Jerry Judy. Mind you, Jerry Judy is out. I don't know for how long specifically, but he has a high ankle sprain. That's going to push Tim Patrick's value even a little bit more than that. And I, and I think he's worth rostering for the entire season. My other waiver wire ad, Christian Kirk. Now he is, I will fully admit, he is a big boomer bust guy. You know, if, if you have Tyler Lockett on your team, and you could justify that. Christian Kirk is the same type of player. Yeah, almost like, it's kind of weird that the offenses work that way too because you also have Kyler Murray, who's a kind of like stockier, can run the ball and throw it, just like Russell Wilson stock, your guy who can run through the football. Christian Kirk's a real big boomer bust guy, but if you go back to last year, he's had these big games. So it can be something of consistency. But if you're a fan of guys like Tyler Lockett, then I think you should like Christian Kirk for every other reason. I think he's worth holding on your roster depending on the matchup, or maybe you have a bye week for somebody. Uh, every once in a while, it could be a good flex. Risky, yes. DFS, go for it all day. Zach Pascal with T.Y. Hilton out and having two touchdowns yesterday. And, and mind you, too, like this is a new offense per se, but it isn't just a new quarterback and one who's familiar with the offense. We don't know who his favorite target is going to be on this team yet. But as of yesterday, it was Zach Pascal. My man tore it up. Now, I originally planned on doing a video even a little bit longer than this to give you some running backs, too. Um, it just shortened up because Monday Night Football is about to start. Man, I'll just hurry up and tell you right now. Elijah Mitchell for the San Francisco 49ers. As you know, I mean, Brendan Shanahan been doing the damn thing on the offensive side of the ball for a minute. It doesn't matter what running back he's had. Alfred Morris, Raheem Mostart, Jarek McKinnon, Matt Breda, Jeffrey Wilson. Like, he gets it down. So if you can get your hands on Elijah Mitchell, I don't, I don't care if Trey Summers is going to play week two. They're going to be splitting carries anyway. And this kid looked, he looked pretty solid against the Detroit Lions defense. It's not the greatest, but either way, nonetheless, Kyle Shanahan has proven whatever running back he has in there, he can make that shit work. 26 carries, 85 yards, and a touchdown for Mark Ingram to Texas. Now, I won't expect the Texans to do this every week, but Mark Ingram is clearly the lead back out of that backfield. I mean, the goal is to stream this Wednesday. Um, for sure, we're streaming Saturday at 7 p.m. Make sure you guys are there. I'm going to have a whole host of people. Make sure you guys are there with your fantasy questions. I'm trying to be one of them guys for you because, you know, I got the knowledge. I might as well share it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the business of making content. Let me help you out and help myself out at the same time. And if you don't mind helping me out, Please hit the like button, man. It means a lot. Other than that, man, we out. It's easy, baby. It's easy. Speak easy, baby.